walking down the street, cunt. Some yeah. hit me up, cunt. I'm like, what up, cunt? Oh, straight ran my ass over, bounced on hydrox 27 times. That's why I'm a little bit up right now, cunt. Right, right there? I'm a little bit up right now. But sir, bounced on me 27 times, I'm still alive, cunt. Hit that up. Just because you're drinking beer. Right, get the camera away from me, cunt. Now Jesse James Hollywood is living in a jail cell after facing a judge for the first time. Hollywood is accused of the kidnap and murder of a Southland boy just one month before that boy's 16th birthday. That was almost five years ago. Hollywood has been in hiding ever since. CBS 2's Carter Evans was at today's hearing and joins us live from Santa Barbara with more. Carter. And his arraignment was postponed, so we didn't get to hear too much from Hollywood today, but we did get a very good look at him. He was tan, his hair was slicked back. Until yesterday, he'd been living in a Brazilian beach town. Any wave time? One of California's most wanted is already facing a judge. He's been back in the U.S. for just over 24 hours, but Jesse James Hollywood could soon face the death penalty for his alleged role in the murder of 15-year-old Nicholas Markowitz. The boy was kidnapped and shot over an alleged drug dispute with Hollywood and his older brother five years ago. It's clear that Mr. Hollywood was not the shooter. He was not present at the scene. So the key determination is whether he gave the instructions for this unfortunate murder. Others have been tried and convicted, but Hollywood disappeared for years. Yesterday, authorities brought him back to California from Brazil, where he'd been hiding. Did he talk at all about what his life was like while he was in Brazil? We didn't talk about that. But Hollywood's attorney did speak with his client yesterday about the case against him and... Did have a brief discussion about uh, his girlfriend and the upcoming uh, baby that's occurring, but it was a private conversation. Naturally, he has a concern about her well-being and his future son or daughter. Say Hollywood had been on the run for the past few years. They found him in a small town outside of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, where Hollywood claimed he was an English teacher. He received checks for $1,200 every month, enough to live a pretty good life. Authorities say his parents might have been sending him the money. It was a beach community where he lived with his Brazilian girlfriend for the last three years. While he was on the run, I'm, I'm just wondering how good a time he was having because I can't even imagine the fact that this kid could still be alive and enjoying life while my son was dead. As you can see, the Markowitz family was here today, but Hollywood's family was not here. Jesse James Hollywood will be back here in court on April 4th for his arraignment, where his attorney says he will plead not guilty. Blatt says Hollywood is scared. This is a very difficult situation for him and his family. Uh, he understands it, and we're prepared to go forward in a determined defense. Hollywood's arraignment has been postponed to April 4th. Live in Santa Barbara, Leo Star with ABC7, Eyewitness News, Michelle. Back to you. 15-year-old Nicholas Markowitz back in 2000. Prosecutors saying here that Hollywood and two others killed the boy in retaliation for a drug debt. Hollywood was captured in Brazil. He was returned to Southern California yesterday. The day Hollywood was supposed to enter a plea, but his attorney asked for and received a postponement until April the 4th. Santa Barbara judge has sentenced Jesse James Hollywood to life in prison without the possibility of parole after denying his request for a new trial. Hollywood was found guilty of first-degree murder in July. Prosecutors say he planned the kidnapping and killing of 15-year-old Nicholas Markowitz back in August of 2000. It was all over a drug debt owed by the teen's half-brother. 30-year-old Hollywood had faced the death penalty, but jurors recommended a life sentence instead. Now, the case inspired the 2007 movie Alpha Dog starring Justin Timberlake. Hollywood's attorneys claimed he did not have a fair trial because of that pretrial publicity. Four others were convicted in the case. Santa Barbara County Sheriff Bill Brown released this statement regarding today's sentencing. He said, Today's sentence finally concludes a long and very tragic case. We hope it brings some measure of closure to the Markowitz family.